Hey everyone, welcome to this quick overview and demonstration video for this Techniques SLQ2 turntable. Uh, so this turntable has been serviced. Uh, servicing included cleaning of the speed selector switches, uh, deoxiding, installation of a brand new Audio Technica AT3600L cartridge and stylus. Um, as well as kind of rebalancing the tone arm and setting the anti-skate force for the uh, new stylus and just a kind of general cleaning of the turntable inside and out. Uh, so the turntable is in perfect operational condition. Uh, so everything on it works, all the features. Uh, cosmetically, it is in... Uh, pretty good shape, maybe eight and a half, nine out of ten. Gonna take us in for a close up. So you can see along the front, maybe a couple little marks here and there. Nothing major, uh, kind of on the corner, a few little dings on the top plate. Nothing really to note. Um, it does have the original. 45 adapter also has the both tabs intact on the dust cover as well as both hinges intact uh, which can be a bit of an issue for these turntables a lot of times they would just kind of beat on a little bit and kind of the tabs on the dust cover break off if you're not too nice to them uh, the dust cover itself is in pretty good shape. Uh, a couple kind of larger scratches. Um, this one looks worse than it is. It does not kind of catch your fingernail, but you can see it. Uh, a couple other maybe small marks here and there. See this little mark, depending on the light you're in, it looks better or worse. But overall, in decent shape, especially considering its age. So this turntable is a semi-automatic, uh, but the thing that really sets it apart is the quartz lock. So what it means pretty much is that the speed is guaranteed to be stable if the turntable is functioning properly. <clears throat> so rather than kind of your typical FG servo lock or anything else, um, the turntable can sense the speed the platter is spinning at and will automatically correct it to either the uh, 33 or 45 RPM speed. So you do have a stop button to return the tone arm to the rest position anytime you want. You got your two speed selector buttons. You have your power button. You have a Q lever, your any skating force dial <clears throat> your uh, counterweight so just overall this is a really solid turntable and it does sound really good with this new cartridge hooked up to it so um i guess the only thing left to show you guys is uh it playing so i do have it hooked up to my uh sansui g3000 receiver over here uh, this receiver is also for sale and also sounds excellent. I do have another video up kind of demonstrating the functioning of that. So uh, I think I have the volume turned down a little bit. So let me just turn the volume on. Uh, we are on the phono input. Um, so first I'll just demonstrate kind of the turntable playing. Uh, it would help if I turned it on. Okay, so you flip your cue switch up. Now your tone arm's kind of locked in this upper position. You can swing it over to the record and just drop it. So the cue damping is still excellent on this. The tone arm drops down nice and slow. So you can see on the stroboscope here on the side just how dead on the speed is locked in.
Okay, I'll show a stop. So you hit stop. Thumb arm picks up and returns to rest. And the turntable checks itself down. Okay, so I am going to play the last track on the side of the record and run and get a 45 to demonstrate that speed. But as it plays through, once it hits the run out track or groove, it, this turntable does have auto return. So similarly to the stop button, tone arm will pick itself up, go back to rest, and the turntable will shut down. So I'll just drop us here on the last track. Okay, and let me mount the camera on the stand in the meantime while I go and get that other record. Okay, so we hit the run out grooves. Turn on picks up and bring itself back to rest. Okay, so let me pull this record off. And throw on 45. Change the speed. All you got to do is hit correct button. And hopefully this video has not been upside down the entire time for you guys. Sorry about that if it was. So again, we're on the 45 speed now. Should be able to see that stroboscope holding like dead steady down there. Okay. Everything again works the same on here. You're going to have your auto return, and when you hit stop, it's going to do the same thing. Okay, so uh, thank you guys for watching, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.